Hey guys, my name is Phoebe and here's my story. Um, growing up, um, I was born into a Christian family, so apparently people that are usually born into a Christian family have the Christian background, they have the beliefs and the traditions, the rights, and everything that happens in the church. So I was going to church all this while. I've been, you know, reading my Bible, praying in my mind. That's what I thought it was. I never knew what it truly meant. I basically thought that um, I was just supposed to go to church. I actually thought that going to church means you're a Christian. But with time, God made me realize that going to church doesn't mean you're a Christian. I'm just going to share one or two experiences I've had during my Christian race and just encourage you wherever you are in the world. So, um, first of all, I'm going to start with this story. I was lost. I was lost. Actually, people felt like the confidence I have is um, a medium for she's problem free. She's challenge free. She doesn't have issues. She doesn't face any problem. And so, Everybody treated me like a robot. Let's put it like that. I don't have feelings. I don't care. Not, nothing happened, you know, that kind of feeling. So basically, I I kept on feeling it in me. I kept on feeling the pain. I felt the pain alone. I The pain hit me alone. Everything, I faced it alone until I found God. And see, after I found God, actually, I was just in my room. I was just praying. I never knew how to pray a bit like I, was, I ought to. I thought prayer was when you get to levels where you can speak in tongues and scatter the place with tongues everywhere, spots everywhere. No, I just stood somewhere and I was thinking and I was like, Father, please, I need your help. That was when I realized that acknowledging you need help to God is a great, it, it counts as a great privilege to him. Once you acknowledge you need God's help, he is very ready to help you out. Very, very ready to help you out. I was in my room, like I was about to cry. And all of a sudden, I started singing this song. I don't know. As I, st I started singing, I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope and firm foundation. He is never going to let me down. I believed it. I believed every single word I said. And God showed me his mercy. Every time I hear this song, the, the song Beyond Me, that song says, you look past my sin, my shame and guilt, and you poured your love on me. You looked beyond me. He passed everything I've done, every wrong I've made, every sin I committed, and he looked beyond me. God's love rescues. God's love, it saves, it helps, it assists. God's love is amazing, it's incredible. Like, I may have not gone through the, I feel like I've not gone through depression, but probably I have, and I don't know, because I really don't know what depression means though. But I I know in the toughest times, in the toughest times, God has been there. Like you can just be on your own, with your eyes closed and you're thinking, and then you feel God just near you, like there with you, talking to you. And he's just, explaining to you how much he loves you like i was I, I look at the bible i ask myself how someone knows the number of hairs on my head how that is is that is it's if there's any word greater than love i would describe it as god's love because god is just so sweet he is says bible says this and see that the lord is good Sometimes I didn't, I didn't even need to taste. He was just showing me his goodness along the line. I remember in 2013 when I became a Christian, initially, I was doing things. I was, I was, yes, everybody in the church encouraging me. We love your confidence. You're the child. You're, you're a good, a great child. You're an, you're an amazing child and all. And I was so happy about it. They tell me, memorize scriptures, come and recite. Everybody's clapping for me. I was so happy about my life. I never knew what Christianity was actually. I thought it was a religion until I realized it was a lifestyle. Many times, I think back, yeah, I gave my life to Christ coincidentally on 25th of December, 2013. 
I was on Christmas Day, there was this man of God that came to my church and he said something that shifted me. Like, he moved me totally. And then I gave my life to Christ. And I realized I've been joking all this while. And I, I was like, why not get serious already with your life? I was, I, I had, let me put it this way. I had one leg on the other side of the fence and I had the other leg on the other side of the fence. I was never on one side. I was just in the middle, vibing to God, vibing to the devil at the same time. And I opened my eyes one day and I saw that I was where I was for the past two years. I didn't move. I was just there, nothing, no growth, no movement, no progress, just stagnation. And I said, God, how do I surrender to you totally? How do I give you my all? Like everything my thoughts my mind my life everything i do how do i give it to you and god just made me understand that i mustn't basically stress myself to just god's love is enough he is enough it is enough to, to just keep you going in life it's enough to keep you moving in life i don't know who i'm talking to out there i don't know who i'm speaking to but I'll tell you something, even in the midst of my Christian race, I have had a lot of temptations. I have fallen a lot of times. I've even done the worst of the worst. But God, huh? Isaiah 54 verse 8, God said, For a little while I was angry with you, but now I have had compassion on you. Just be happy, rejoice always with me. For a little while I was angry with you. Just a little while. His anger lasts but for a moment. That's what the Bible says. So I want to encourage you. Buttress on the love of God. Understand how much he loves you. Don't just wail in pain and depression. Don't allow it to overtake your life. Let the love of God. Let it, let it embrace you. Let it take the whole of your life and you will remain better in life. You will move better in life. Thank you very much for listening.